it's time for a Saturday thoughts. One of my thoughts for this Saturday is what I plan to do with the YouTube channels this year and how my expansion into different media uh, will continue this year. One of my YouTube friends, Brian Miller, put up a video this week uh, talking about the big pivot, the changes that were made in 2020 to how you were going to do things and, and continue with your life. He asked for a word that stated what you felt about in one word the year and my word was confusing. My change for that year was going online. I started back with uh, a lot more online presence than I'd had in the last 10 or 15 years. On another hand, what I'm doing is also starting a uh, podcast this year. And I took Brian's course on uh, seven days to start a podcast. Well, Brian, it's probably going to take me closer to 14 days because of the timing and the other things I have going on with the channel. But I will have a podcast up this month. It, it's a great course. It starts out with the first thing that he wants you to do is, is uh, gives you a project and you do a certain thing. And on the second second deal you do a project and you do a second thing and you do a third one and you do a fourth one and it goes to seven and on seven you launch your podcast I will uh, give you more information on how it goes as I get into it I'm just in the first and second uh, phase of that one of the things on YouTube that I was kind of studying and looking at was names of YouTube channels and on uh, YouTube, it seems like my favorite channels are all the people's names that are involved in those channels. Nick Nimmin uh, has a how to do YouTube channel that's great. He does a lot of advice. I agree with uh, probably 98% of everything that he says. One of the things I kind of disagree with uh, is the personal aspect of, of YouTube. Like, you know, if my friends like Nick or like Brian or Daryl Brom, or uh, John Wales, or Rick Benito, if they have some type of problem that's keeping them from filming or personal things, I just like to know what's going on, but that's just me. Nick uh, looks at it like you don't need to put a lot of personal information, in, and I understand that to a degree, but I like to know the people that I'm spending hours watching their channels. Phil McKnight, uh, Phil with his channel has become even though I personally do not know him, he's become a friend. I mean, it's it's like I make comments on his channel, ask him things. Uh, both of his main channels are Phil McKnight and Phil McKnight 2, which is the second YouTube channel he started. They're great channels. Uh, he has another, I think it's a podcast called Know Your Gear uh, that's also good, and I listen to that. Actually, how I listen to it, I watch it on YouTube. He films it, and he does a podcast all at the same time. One of Nick Nemmon's uh, videos is about trolls and some of the negative things that happen uh, on YouTube. And yeah, it's, it's kind of amazing that people would bug you and do things, but they do. On Brian's channel, his most disliked video is called My Useless Philosophy Degree. And it's a good, uh, it's a good video. It's, uh, if you get a chance, go back and look at it. But it's not a bad video, but it's his most disliked. I don't know at this point what my most disliked was, but I have some. I have some dislikes on videos I put up on my main channel, and my main channel is the Paul Caps channel. We'll study the confusing, that's the word that I gave Brian, for my description of 2020. Rick Benito's channel sometimes goes on to rants rants about different uh, subjects and different things. I mean, he's, he's, he's a good guy. He's a great guitar player, music channel, but uh, some things get under his skin and bug him. Love those videos. Okay, I think that's pretty much covered everything that I wanted to cover for today. It's another Saturday. It's in February. Y'all take care.